In this video, we will be studying about the measures which are initiated by the government to improve the market system. Now, what are the measures the government has taken to improve the market system for the agriculture produce? Number one is the regulated markets. See, regulated markets have been established where sale and purchase of the produce is monitored by the market committee including the representatives of government, farmers and the traders. So market system is made transparent with a strict vigil on the use of proper scale and weights. The market committees ensure that the farmers get appropriate price for their produce. So mark, regulated market have been introduced by the government which includes the uh, your uh, Sorry, representatives of government. Then your farmers and your traders. Right? These three people form the market committee. So these committee, what they do, they ensure that the farmer uh, gets the best price for the produce and the farmers are not exploited by the traders second is your cooperative agricultural marketing society Now the government is ensuring the uh, formation of cooperative agricultural marketing societies. As a member of members of these societies, farmers find themselves better bargainers in the market, getting better price for their produce through collective sale. So under the cooperative agricultural marketing uh, societies, there are a large number of buyers that come. They do the collective sale. And they stick to the prices which they have decided. So in this area, farmers play the role of monopolies. So farmers come up and fix up their prices that we won't sell below this price. So in this way, the farmer get, gets the bargaining power in the market. So in this way, they can get the better price for their product. Third is your provision of warehousing facilities see with a view to avoid the distressed sale the government is offering warehousing facilities to the farmer so the central and state warehouses corporations have been formed in which the government agencies offer storage space to the farmers in which they can store up their produce and they can sell it at the times of the lucrative prices fourth is your subsidized transport see railways are offering subsidized transport facility to the farmers to bring their produce from one place to another to bring their produce from the rural markets to the urban market so their cost of transportation their produce is very very low dissemination of information now electronic media and print media are being used in order to provide the relative information to the farmers particularly information related to the price behavior in the market that what are the prices that are going in the market and how much to sell and when to sell so this all information is being published through the electronic media like radios, your print media like newspapers. So farmers get to know all the information related to the farming that are being or all the amendments that are being made by the government. Sixth is your MSP policy. So this is the major step which is being taken by the uh, government in order to improve the agricultural marketing in India. This is your minimum support price. 
See, the government has fixed the minimum price under which they the farmers can uh, go and sell the produce to the government on this minimum support price. That let's say it has been fixed as uh, rupees sixteen per kg of wheat. So the farmers will get at least minimum of rupees sixteen to sell their produce. So nobody will give uh, them. Uh, they cannot sell their produce at rupees fifteen because why would they sell if they are getting uh, the price of rupees sixteen per kg from the government? So your minimum support policy, uh, price policy, is an important step initiated by the government to improve the agriculture market system. So MSP is an assurance to the farmer that their produce would be purchased by the government at a specified price. If there are no uh, buyer of their produce, the government will purchase their produce at the minimum support price. So they are free to sell their produce at a price higher than the uh, minimum support price in the normal market. Whereas if there there are no buyers in the normal market, so they can sell it to the government with the minimum support price. So this is the major and the most drastic and most effective policy which is made by the government. This MSP policy. Now comes the failure of agriculture market. Why the agriculture market is failing? Just because of lack of transportation facility. See, the government has given the train in which they can transport their goods at a very subsidized rate. But what happens? The trains are already booked. The farmers do not get the get the place or the space to transport their goods. So again, the then it's a forced sale. Till now, the farmers are being forced to sell their produce at the price low than the minimum support price. Numerous market changes. See, market is very dynamic, so it changes very early. So, various changes in the market also fails the agricultural marketing. Lack of credit facility. Till now, the rural credit have not been reached to all the families of the farmer. So still there is a lack of credit facilities, lack of storage facility. The governments have made warehouses, but the warehouses they have made are much less than the demanded. So most of the produce is kept. Without the warehouses and the condition of the warehouses is also not very good. So the produce is being spoiled by the insects or the pests. Presence of middlemen. Till now the uh, middlemen are present in the market. The government has failed to fully eliminate this middlemen. Lack of standard weights and measures so what the traders have done they have done uh, the you know they have changed some of the machines weighing machines let's suppose if the farmer has 23 cages they have done such changes in their weighing machine that it will only weigh 20 cages so these are lack of standard weights and measures. So these are the failures of the agricultural marketing in India. I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.